checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Light Saber back with another video. We're going to talk about a few tokens after I've, I've had a few days off from crypto okay and it seems like it's been a lifetime it seems like i've missed so much in just two days okay the difference between the two days that i took off um recently or just now with my wife um you know is is that i wasn't looking at my phone at the charts i wasn't on my laptop consistently i wasn't kind of doing what because at the end of the day with crypto it allows us to travel and still work still look at the charts, still do what we need to do but i took a break an actual break from crypto didn't involve myself much in telegram uh, i really didn't see much of what was going on okay um and it feels like i missed so much <laughs> but um it was a much needed break okay and now i can come back to the market with fresh eyes i always recommend taking some time out just to clear your mind and do you know other things that are more important like spending time with family quality time and things like that but um, i'm back now so uh let's have a look at the charts we're looking at rfd uh, to start with refund token we're also going to look a little bit at zen crypto and give you my thoughts on that and also ben coin which is the bitboy crypto um project ben okay so we're going to start with rfd so refund um i actually bought more of this token just before i left a couple of days ago okay and um yeah just like i said in the previous video what I expected to see is this to find some sort of base, some sort of bottom, start going sideways, and that will be the perfect time to start accumulating rather than buying in areas like this, trying to catch a falling knife. So now, to me, it looks like a beautiful place to buy. Not financial advice. Do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose, but it's like a really good place to buy. Okay, it's holding this support level, and we are seeing it start to make its way towards this downward sloping resistance. Once we break that, if we break that, I feel like we will start to see this start to move again. We see the volume decreasing and we could potentially see the volume start to increase. And it's still hot number one. Just like I said before, this consistently finds itself trending, right? It's hot number one at the moment. It's still got 8 million in liquidity despite the price uh, going down, okay? Which is going to be really attractive to people who want to buy large amounts of this token. We see a lot of big buys coming in on this token and that that is uh, a catalyst of strong liquidity okay total market cap is 18.5 million okay so this to me is still super bullish it's bullish okay guys now it's a better price to buy it now than what it was over here okay and because uh you know this has actually come uh below my initial buying price however i haven't sold a single token i've still been holding i've actually added to my bag I see it as a second chance a second opportunity to accumulate more tokens so in this area looks like a beautiful place to accumulate in my opinion it's not financial advice but um yeah i'm still bullish on refund coin and uh, let's just go back yeah still bullish on refund okay guys and yeah it's, it, it does seem to have been holding this price level for at least the past few days now so uh yeah still good things to say about this particular project community is bullish there's another influencer called your pop he's got a huge following on youtube and a huge following on twitter he's consistently talking about and posting about refund rfd um he's super bullish on his project and um you know even if we go into telegram right telegram is constantly video chats video chats um a bunch of participants and people just hyping up the token everyone just talking about how bullish they are on the token so you know i'm still bullish on this i'm not going to fade this i still believe that um, we are super early it's not even been two weeks starting on the 19th of may and um what are we on today we're on the third of june so it's been about two weeks for this token and um you know imagine where we are in two months from now i see it's at a much higher price and uh, potentially okay guys and uh, let's talk about zen so zen zen crypto and i keep slipping my hand on the uh and bringing it back okay but zen crypto um right so zen um the chart is you know it's clearly been coming down okay so really the whole pump they gave to us over here is taking it all back okay um which is why uh, it's always a good idea to take profit on a pump all right guys but um i think now is not the time if you are still holding zen it's not the time to be selling zen this is probably the time to be accumulating zen uh potentially okay and um we're talking about the x1 blockchain potentially being launched 
um, sometime this year or by the end of this year. So, um, you know, you don't want to be buying Zen when it's already taken off and when the hype has already kicked in. You want to be buying it when everybody's forgotten about it, when people aren't talking about it as much. These are the times to start accumulating something like Zen because the fundamentals are still the same. It's still strong fundamentally. The only thing that I would say about Zen, the founder, is his, his attention. Uh, if you've been following the channel, I've said this all the time, okay? But his attention, his focus is all over the place, right? Or so it seems. He's launching NFTs over on uh the brc20 bitcoin ordinals he's launching other tokens over there he's posting about all these other tokens uh there's a bunch of you know projects that are feeding off of zen like zen doge for example zen doge didn't do too well i talked about it a few weeks ago and um you know it didn't do too well i bought into the token i burned zen to get into the token and um yeah, I think I actually lost money on that particular project. But, um, you know, the fundamentals are still the same with Zen. And I'm looking at what is the potential, the future potential of this project, um, especially by the end of the bull run. You know, will this give you your 100x, 1000x, 10,000x that people are talking about, comparing it to Hex? I think at this stage, it can't really be compared to Hex. Uh, Hex, um, Hex had, Hex was just Hex on its own, right? I know we've got Pulse Chain and all that sort of stuff now which is another project I need to talk about and do a video about because I've got some assets locked up over there or not locked up, but I'm earning over there. So we need to talk about Pulse Chain. But, you know, Hex was something that was kind of unique at the time. It was on its own, okay? There was no other token. There was no whole ecosystem. It was just basically Hex. And Richard Hart was, you know, promoting Hex to the max, right? With Zen, with Zen, there is a, it's, a, it's, it's Zen and there's a bunch of other stuff, okay? So there's so much that comes with it where people's focus, they're not just putting all of their capital into Zen. They're spreading it all around. So that is going to take away from the Pumponomics. Okay, so, okay, give me a few minutes. That's going to take away from the Pumponomics of actual Zen, okay, guys? And finally, we're going to talk about Ben, okay? So Ben is the token of BitBoy Crypto, okay? And for me, the chart is looking bullish. I've been holding this token for a while, you can see I've been charting it as well. And uh, right now, it looks like uh, it's at a, it's, it's finding a a base over here. And um, yeah, we, we're looking to hold this trend line and potentially go to the upside. Right, where was I? Okay, um, it's just me at home with the kids right now. So do, trying to do everything at once, trying to get a video out, trying to um, um, sort the kids out and all that sort of stuff. Okay, guys, but um, yeah, so Ben Coin is looking pretty good at the moment it's holding this support line as you can see and um, so that is a good thing okay guys we've actually just broken this downward sloping resistance um okay so we are potentially we could potentially see some upside out of this token obviously as, as long as volume starts coming back in and um you know people stay bullish and stay holding on this particular token the community is huge i mean bitboy crypto is the biggest influencer in crypto um, correct me if I'm wrong. I think he's got like 1.5 million on YouTube and he's got a million plus on Twitter. So he's bringing a whole community into this particular token. And now there's like a whole ecosystem being built around, you know, Ben and PSYOP and the Loyal and New Exchange. Because, you know, if you've not been following it, Uniswap actually delisted it temporarily, which caused a bit of pain on the chart. Okay, it is now back on Uniswap. Um, but you could always use it. Uh, you could always trade it on one inch. And there was another exchange or no, there's exchanges or there's another decentralized exchange you could actually trade this token on. But it is now back on Uniswap and it was just something to do with the logo. There is a new logo for Ben and um, it's no longer this logo. What you can see here is actually, um, it is actually this logo right here. Okay, so that is the Ben logo. Okay, guys. And um, yeah, it's more than just a meme coin now. So, you know, you know I mean, BitBoy Crypto is... You know, he's a very passionate guy and he believes in crypto, okay? And, um, you know, I just wouldn't bet against him on this particular project, all right, guys? I mean, maybe if this was the, you know, fourth year or something and it was looking like this, okay? It might be a little bit more high risk, okay? Uh, everything is high risk. It's just speculation, okay? But we haven't even had uh, a bull run yet, okay, guys? So with this launching now at this stage of the Bitcoin bull run, right? or bear market, or whatever you want to call it right now. Um, you know, where could this be by the end of the bull run in 2024, 2025? That's what I'm speculating on this particular token. Okay, because BitBoy Crypto 
The algorithm likes him. <laughs> the YouTube algorithm likes him, okay? And there's a lot of people that are not even in crypto yet. And, you know, what kind of, you know, um, leverage can he bring into this particular token? You know, where is this ecosystem going with the loyal token and things like that? So that's why I'm bullish on this project and that's why I'm holding it, okay? I did take some profit. I did take some profit. So everything that I'm holding in this token, full disclosure, is, is house money, okay? So, you know, I'm interested to see where this is going in the future at least by the end of the bull run okay guys so that's really it for this video i need to go and sort the kids out okay guys so i'm going to leave the links in the description you guys can let me know what you think in the comments if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe um and like the video which helps with the youtube algorithm guys so that's it for now and i'll see you in the next video